Hello everyone, and welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV. I'm your host, Shadorian, and with me as always is Ark and Grim. Howdy. Sup, sup. They are here, I swear. <laughs> I'm here. No, we're not. They're just not around me. Not that you can huh? see. Huh? We're yeah. inside of you, though. Always inside. Really? You guys got your timers on because I haven't been the ones slipping up the last few apps. I can't see you. Me? Yeah, are you really inside me? Never mind. Okay, okay, this is bad content. The fact, the fact that <laughs> you're shouting it either way makes me happy. Okay, I'm not going to tell you what I was just doing. You can watch it later. <laughs> but it was not okay. <laughs> Put it that way. Were you zooming in on places you shouldn't zoom in on? Shh! No. Why would you assume that? We haven't you had do. conversations about that before either. I mean, sure I mean, I've, I was doing that, but I feel like we haven't talked about that before. <laughs> what Maybe the hell? How did you know? What the hell? <laughs> well, you asked if I was inside you, so what else would you be doing? That is exactly what happened. And I was in the, um... I was in that mode where, um, what is it, group pose, so it gets rid of all of the HUD. Yeah. And you can move the camera better with the WSAD buttons. Okay, I so see this takes a lot of experimentation. Um, I kind of figured it out on the fly. I don't know if I should be looking inside my own butt. Okay. Like, I don't know if that's like a good thing to do. I feel like there's diseases that could be contracted you sure from yourself. Know what's already in there? I mean, you're the one putting things inside your mouth, so you should already have a rough idea what's going to come out. Just because it goes in my mouth doesn't mean it's inside my butt. <laughs> Maybe I put the things in my butt. <laughs> oh man, well, I've actually man, this changes everything. I've actually been having a bad, a bad butt week. <laughs> no. So I don't know if I told you guys about the medication I've had to have. So basically, no. the moral of the story in advance is drink water. God damn it, everyone. Because if you don't for long periods of time, like I do not, it's my freaking keyboard running out of batteries. That'd be a bad time to happen. Um. Yeah, so, I got an impacted colon a little while ago, and like, I finally got my medication after a little while, and my medication was this big old box that had like satchels in it, and they were quote unquote chocolate flavoured. They're not chocolate flavoured. It's like you mix with water, not milk. Um, oh, well, one of them. One of them. And anyway, yeah, so like, they're like, oh, just slowly ramp your way up to eight satchels a day. I'm like, what? <laughs> so like, I'm sitting there reading it and it's like, oh, if you're constipated, drink one of these satchels a day. And I'm like, I'm not constipated. I'm backed up. <laughs> Wait, is it Movacol? <laughs> Wait, what? Is it Movacol? Oh, yeah. oh it like... is. It is. How did you yeah. know? Ah, uh, victim. <laughs> No, no, no. My mother's chronic condition means she pretty much has to live off it. Oh yeah, it sucks. Yeah, it is, having, it is that shit, my, the chocolate one. My wife having two kids, it's pretty normal for that to be given after birth to Ah! Yep, well, you know. It's really tender down there after giving birth to a child. But, oh, the chocolate one is, though, like, way more toler tolerable than the normal one. The normal one is, like, salty as hell. <laughs> it's like just getting a salt lick Heck. and then just having it on your tongue and then trying to drink water. Aren't salt licks for horses though? <laughs> yep, that's, that's, that's I, I don't know what a horse lick tastes like, man. I don't want to know salt? How what a horse lick tastes like. <laughs> it's a really good image though, him just staring at one for a while and being like, huh. <laughs> I wonder. This is, this is a salt lick. I wonder what. Mm. His tongue just touches it and turns brittle and falls to bits covered enough salt so that I don't need to put salt on any food for the next two weeks just because my son, tongue has enough salt and it's just salted as a blood <sighs> God damn it, dude. Now I'm curious what a salt, salt like tastes like. <laughs> it reminds me of an episode of The Simpsons where Lisa gets a horse and just like, yummy salt lick. Uh, uh. <laughs> well, you had me thinking for a sec that I swore because you of that deep sigh, I'm like, oh no, I didn't say anything bad, I swear. Oh, we're, well, yeah. we're, at, we're nearly at five minutes, bro, we're good. Oh. Uh, and I already said shit, and I should, I haven't said it yet, but I should have said, cock, ass, cunt, and fuck. Okay, if you're a child and you're watching this, fuck off. 
You shouldn't be, because <laughs> aren't we rated like 18 plus? Like, aren't we not for kids? You're damn right. Yeah. Like, don't get me wrong, kids. You can grow up and watch us, but like, you know. You, won't you have to be 13 plus how... to be watching YouTube. And also, we swear and we're naughty because we're older and we're for and older we're audiences. And we're angry and we're bitter, bitter and... I was just talking about my poo-poo medication. Does this appeal to your demographic? I don't think it does. <laughs> Do you want to talk about the magic that it's Movacol? Speaking of which, I didn't finish that story. So yeah, like, so, if you have yeah, one, gonna... it's supposed to help with your, like, if you're constipated. But then they're like, oh, but if you have, like, a blockage, they're very ambiguous. If you have a blockage, drink eight. <laughs> like, that's a steep jump. I'm, I'm good. <laughs> oh, yeah, I think my mum has to do what she, what she do. I think it's somewhere between, like, I think six to eight a day. Oh, fuck, man, that sucks. That sounds like it's like, you know what? Instead of just coming out slowly, you're going to be a fire hydrant. Um, oh, it, it's not like that, man. It's more like, it just is. like... Oh, it is. It, yeah, but it's more like... No, they have a blockage though. That would not. That would be the opposite of. I refer to it as graveyard poo, because <laughs> it's like old, old oh. poop. I'm good now. I'm, I'm clear. <laughs> I can poop Don't normal we... again. But that was a bad, bad time, man. Like I, got, I was like this close from going to hospital. Oh. Wait. Ooh. So bad it wakes the dead. A few um, times. Grave Lord Nito Caliber though. Yeah, man, like, probably bones in it. <laughs> some old skin. Like, some w fucking White Walkers. <laughs> Would I be able to get a, a Grave Lord fucking Greatsword from it? It is the Greatsword. That's why I bled <laughs> passing it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, that, with, with qualities like that, I, I, I'd see... Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, the moral of the story is drink water. Not just so you don't have to pee out a rock one day, because that's also a good reason to drink water, but because you need it to poop. <laughs> and I was like, I'm good with Pepsi Max only for no, like a year. No, you're, <laughs> no, you're not. But it doesn't have sugar in it, that's healthy, right? <laughs> Do I have to come My over and just brain. man throw just fucking cups of water in your face? Drink the water! Probably. Don't, I don't, don't like drinking water. No one likes drinking. Does anyone actually like drinking water? I don't if you like drinking water, do. like, comment, and subscribe, and let us know. That's, <laughs> see, that's the spirit, man. That's what you need to say more. <laughs> Drink more water. I mean, like, comment, and subscribe. Oh, Cause we need, we need there to, goes um, all my health. Because <laughs> we need to uh, get shade to uh, drink some water. <sighs> I like drinking water. We're like real cold water. I love it. Uh, I don't know. It's just not tickles my pickle. I know what it is for me. Keeps it's because I moist. It's because I grew up in areas that had like really crappy town water, and it'd be like you'd you'd drink it, and it'd be like it'd taste rusty. Sometimes it would be like an orange or a brownie or a yellow color. It's just I'm like yuck, Pepsi <laughs> or chocolate milk. I like my chalky milk. Let's let's not go with the orange and brown color. Let's go with the black. It's oh, man. better. Well, at least you know, like, it literally says all the preservatives. It's like, hey, with everything in there, it'll kill whatever bacteria should have been in there. It will just have sugar instead. Sugar! Bam, 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 bam. Demonetized. <laughs> Content ID. Oh, okay. man. But okay. <laughs> but excuse okay. me. What? But okay. So. <laughs> There's this Game Grumps skit that they're sitting there talking about this um, really ghetto like fast food joint, <laughs> and some some woman's gone in there and um, ordered like a whole bunch of meals, like way too much for one person. And the cashier's like, "Do you want that to go or to eat here?" And she's like, "You really think I can eat all of this?" <laughs> <laughs> she's like, but excuse me, do you really think I can eat all of this? And she's like, bitch, I don't know your life. <laughs> but okay. <laughs> so good. <laughs> Someone made an animated of it, and it's like, um, it's like, uh, Jim Henson style puppets, except in cartoon form. So good, I love it. <laughs> Fucking Game Grumps animated. I love that shit. Oh, something just appeared on my map that I hadn't seen before. Is it drugs? 
No, it says raid on it. It's drugs. Raid drugs. Is the is the um, final raid for ARR in um, Mordor? 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 Uh, if it's either Mordona or it's North Danelon. I don't know, but um, you can queue us for that dungeon if you want to. Oh, can you, can you, can you do Stone Vigil now? Oh. Wait, I don't know. But I feel like I was always able to do it. No, I, I was under the impression oh, I'm not. you were a few quests behind. No. Damn, no, alright. You, you've got to get to, uh, you got to get to the, uh, hectic, uh, the Heretic Among Us, I think it is. I'm at All By Ourselves and Factual Folklore, Slayer Spotted Mud Puppy. In Pursuit of the Past is the main scenario quest I'm up to, and that's for queuing Stone Vigil. Hmm, that's alright, I'm, I'm cutting through them pretty quick. And that's, that's what talking what shit is for. Said. We're getting there, though. I definitely like having little electric knives. This shit is awesome. And having them out means I can do flips. You guys can't do flips. I, I don't need to do flips. I have an axe. So, yeah. You can do flips and have an axe. You try and do flips with your character with an axe. Actually, sorry, um, speaking of axes. I actually saw a, um, one of those things where people, like, name, like, a video game character except describe them poorly. Ah, oh, yeah? And it was, um... Who is someone whose family dies, so he kills his family, and then gets angry and kills more of his family, and then starts a new family? His angry's family kills and then stops. Now, someone kills his family, so he gets right. angry and kills more of his family. <laughs> yeah. And then... That makes him angrier, so he kills more of his family, and then he starts a new family. No. I got nothing. It's Kratos. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> yep. Oh, gee, god, yeah. He really did do that shit. <laughs> yep. Pretty much in that exact order. <laughs> Excuse me. That's part of my. That's part of my lingo now. <laughs> Bokeh. <laughs> so good. Thought I want to get around to re-recording that at some point. I reckon you should just do like a fun run, man. It's, I prefer the story runs, like unless you're gonna do explicit challenge runs. But then, like you're essentially oh, just, signing oh, yourself up for frustration. Yeah, I know. I'm signing myself up for a death warrant, and then go. <laughs> you know what? I've got this. I can take the Valkyrie Queens and. There'd just be episodes of me probably just screaming and crying at the at the queen just over and over and over again. <laughs> Why? Ah! Just see, you just hear me just hitting myself with the controller. Man, I want to do the stone sigil. Oh, there's one of those motherfuckers. Here you go. Have some dead rat. Oh yuck! Why am I giving him a dead rat? Seed it, dude. Come on. It's the season. Here, yeah, buddy. I got you a dead rat. Rat, 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 ratties. Rat, 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 ratties. It's like, speaking of rats and, you know, viruses, um, you heard how the coronavirus started, right? Um, the man ate a snake. He ate a bat and a snake. Yeah, from a wet, from a wet, like it was all places that sold like illegal shit, like tigers and stuff. I had a big old argument with Hoffman about that today, actually. Oh no. <laughs> you know, because he likes to just start arguments over shit. He's very much one of those people where it's just like, hey, someone said something wrong on the internet, so I have nothing to contribute to the conversation. I just wanted to let you know that you are wrong about this one detail. And then hijack the entire conversation with that. <laughs> Fucking dick. But he's just basically like, I was like, not all freaking pandemics and diseases come from like China and Asia you guys realize you can just like be afraid of the coronavirus if you want without being a racist shit and, yeah and then I was like you know not every virus came from China and you know they go to western nations to get worse there as well and then I listed off a bunch of them and one of them was the bubonic plague and he's like 
actually, the bubonic plague did come from China, and he's like listed some page for the for the Black Death, not the not the original bubonic plague. And yeah. I was like, the Black Death is like 1300s, dude. The plague of Justinian is like the 500s, and the earliest recorded version of the bubonic of the bubonic plague. They're the same thing, and yeah, they're not certain that it came from there. It's just the earliest recorded sample because that shit is 1500 years old. And he's just like, it's China. <laughs> they have the diseases. Uh, I'm like, wow, dude, not okay. <laughs> Why are you like this? <laughs> and sometimes it's good that he's retired into the ether. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's alright, he's just a fucking dick. I swear he I just mean... does half of it to shit stir, and it's like, dude, why? I swear he just has things just like Facebook. For monetization purposes. Oh, definitely. <laughs> he has no filter, man. No filter whatsoever. But like, I yeah. Mean, I it makes me think, you know, after <coughs> day and go, you know what, I've got no filter. And then I hear stuff that Hoffman says and I'm like, yeah, I've, I've got a filter. <laughs> That's true. It is, saint it is saintly and forged with adamantium and vibranium. I feel that so true. Like, I definitely get that. I used to think that I didn't have a filter, like, I'd just say things without, like, thinking. And then, it's like, Pete, why would you think it's okay to say that to that person? You realize you're correcting the spelling of somebody that is, like, fucking dyslexic. Oh. Oh. You, you just called someone with Down Syndrome retarded, dude. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh. Doesn't apologize. <laughs> Oh, well, you he's... shouldn't be on Facebook then. It's like, wait, is Facebook just for not people with Down syndrome? Oh, no, I didn't mean it like that. Well, don't fucking say it then, dude. <laughs> liability. Fucking liability. No. I feel like you'd be one of those people, you'd, if you have it on the channel, we'd, we'd have to just, can, like, have a filter. <laughs> Go through the video heavily. Like, yeah. three, per, three man check to keep. And, like, so then by the time everything was done, you'd just sit there and you'd only hear them for, like, Two minutes out of an entire episode, and everyone was like, "Oh, what? what you just barely heard off him? What's going on?" The thing about yeah. Pete is, like, he's about sixty percent troll, and then the rest of him is like, everything's a joke, or it's serious, but you shouldn't get upset. But he can yell at you, <laughs> not to get upset at the same time. He's, a, he's an awesome dude. It's just. He needs like a he needs a secretary, <laughs> a sexy secretary. I it, it doesn't have to be a girl. It could be a sexy boy too. But he needs a secretary to just be like, like essentially like Smithers and be like, ah, uh, sir, <laughs> not not that. <laughs> he really uh, does. I feel like I'm gonna need one of them if I get this goddamn promotion that I'm trying to line myself up for. You'll be fine. You'd be able to afford it too. <laughs> Just say, right, cool, right. If I get angry, I'm going to vent to you, and you're going to give out the socially acceptable response to, i.e., you're a cunt, go kill yourself. <laughs> oh, please go, <laughs> please go ram your hands in an oven. Get inside the bailer so I can crush you, you piece of shit. And other such scenarios. Nice dinosaur, dude. Thank you. It's my Sildra. Yeah, no. Pete, Pete's awesome and all. It's just like he gets very like I'm. I'm a pretty fucking opinionated person, as you know. But like we hadn't noticed. <laughs> no, I don't know what you're talking about. But like Being it means something when I'll say that me. say that Pete jumps down people's throats and feel okay saying that. Like that dyslexic person that he had a go at for the spelling was my sister. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Yeah, he didn't apologize. He was like, well, if you don't want to have your spelling corrected, you shouldn't be on Facebook. I'm like, or you could just apologize, you know, not be a dick. And then he just was like, stop being a little bitch. It's like, wow. <laughs> yeah, oh, man, like, zero fucking care. And, and I know that he's not a bad dude at all. He's just a cunt when it comes to Facebook. He's not like that in real life. He would have just been like, oh shit, sorry. Like, he would have said that in real life, but because there's the screen, people fucking. People change. behind the warmth of a screen. 
Well, it's it's also like they don't feel the empathy for people either because there's like a dehumanizing factor as well. So it's like if I wouldn't want my computer screen to look like a face anyway because what if I like get in the mood and I want to put on some kind of adult entertainment and then I'm looking at a face with a, like a screen inside of like the <laughs> mouth and that, that, that shit just gets awkward real quick. And I, I wouldn't know that from experience at all. Keep going. <laughs> I want to know more. <laughs> no, no, it, it's it's definitely like, it's not just with Pete as well. Like again, Pete's an awesome dude. I've noticed this with a lot of people though. It's just like, because it's a screen, it's like, it's not real. It's like, it's real in a sense, but it's like, they don't see how what they say and do affects other people and because because of that they don't give a fuck <laughs> so they'll be like oh well maybe you shouldn't have cheated on your dead husband <laughs> to the person like on the day that their husband dies or some shit like that <laughs> like like they like there's definitely people doing it over the whole kobe death thing they're like oh who gives a fuck he's a rapist and he was but also his daughter died too she didn't fucking rape anybody but then on the opposite side, there's those who just like feign it, like they're like, "Oh, poor Kobe." It's like, motherfucker, you don't watch basketball. You don't give a fuck yeah, about sports. Yeah, well, people are suddenly all like R.I.P. and like post all those tribute things for days at a time. It's disingenuous, man. Is what it is. Oh, fucking I if it is. Like, it's the whole thing's like shit that it happened. But you don't need to post well, about it, like. Um, if if I was an avid basketball follower, it'd be yeah, like, man, that would make yeah. sense. Shit, like this really affects my life. It sucks Perfect. that his daughter died. She did nothing yeah. wrong, and also like it sucks that he died yeah, because like a lot of people that commit crimes and shit, like they don't better themselves, and he did. But at the same time, nothing will make up for what he did. I can see why it would matter to other people. I just don't give a fuck though, because hmm. the world's full of people that do bad things, and some of them die. It's sad but, that people died, and it's sad that their deaths made people sad, but like, you know. It doesn't affect your life, so you're not going to go rip Kobe when well, it doesn't really change I know anything. there's other people, like, there's other people that are going to do that, you know, like, they're going to be like, rest in peace, and it's going to mean more to them, because like, the people that actually do give a shit about basketball, it will affect them, his family, his, his wife, like, the mother of his daughter, and all of that, like, I care about that. That's all super sad. It's not nice when people die, but I'm not going to sit here and act like I was a big fan of his, and yeah. I'm not going to be like, oh my god, you were an inspiration to me. It's like, motherfucker. Like, I actually played basketball. I actually used to watch basketball, and I'm not going to do that. And then I know these motherfuckers that definitely don't play or watch basketball, and they're like, oh my god, it's so sad. And it's like, you think it's sad because you saw somebody else say it was sad. Why, and this, why, why, and you're why? acting like you think you need to. Which is disingenuous. I hate did, that shit. Did, wait, did I see that you, you did sports? I did lots of sports, man. I used to play club football, I used to play club soccer. We had a team called Maggot United. Because <laughs> we were the maggots. <laughs> and it was this big pointy toothed maggot on a hat. <laughs> And we won every single game. That's creepy as fuck. Was it because everyone was disgusted by the maggot? No, it's because we were better than them. And half of the team teams were like three years younger than us. Oh god. They were the fun games. <laughs> You'd just like run up to kick, to kick a goal. And like the goalkeeper would be ready to stop you. Except you would just like kick it through them. <laughs> because they're little. <laughs> no, that was good. <laughs> no, I, I used to play. I even played baseball for a bit. I'm just imagining an like adult it. you kicking soccer balls at like small children, and then the ball and the child just go flying. Oh, I was a small children. I was like 13, maybe 12 or something. Oh, this little child wants. I used to play soccer. I used to play football. It was the one you had to least move for. Yeah, I was a goalkeeper too. <laughs> Because I was a fat kid, I was a front row forward. I was the lazy kid. I was just I accurate was... enough to catch balls when they came there, and then I would just like sit up against the side of the the goal, just waiting for them to even come over to my side of the field, which was not you know, often. Makes sense. Shade catching balls. Yeah, man, I was fucking good at it. Sometimes I'd have like two pairs of balls in each hand. Especially if they're um his clone's balls. At the same um, time. 
Ah, uh, that's right, that's right. We uh, only just watched that episode. Yeah, mm -hmm. I got non flashbacks about that one. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, oh yeah. I did yeah, say I'd fuck my clan. Never get monetized, ever. And I did <laughs> rationalize that it's not incest. <laughs> or is it? <laughs> the oh, question God. that was only ever half answered. <laughs> I think it'll always only be half, an half answered. Well, maybe it's only half incest. <laughs> I don't know, but there is I feel like the only way this is gonna get answered do is it. someone gets the clone. Well, right. I'll, I'll do it. Because even if it is incest, it's still me. It's like. It's not like I'm gonna knock myself up. Oh, are you? It's just only you know about it. And all of you watching at home. Wait, who's all you watching? What? Yeah, I hopefully can't. not my family. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh oh. <laughs> well, uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know. Like, it's okay. I'll I'll break the news to your sister if I have to. I don't know if I'm really like into dudes, you know, but at the same time, like, if it, if it's you, like you know you. You know that's the point. Like you I, know I'm, I'm assuming that this is like, like a clone grown in a fucking tank that was super aged to be exactly the same age as you, the same like height and everything, and then you're a copy of your memories inside it. Like it didn't yeah, it didn't that, get birthed from your is... mother. It came from a tank. It's a copy of you. Or, to make it even better, Shenron the Wish Dragon is just like, there's two of you now. Like that. Well, Done. Yep, yeah, And then, you bang. <laughs> Maybe you're at bored at home, and you're like, since it's you, you feel candid enough to be like, hey man, I'm gonna go in the other room and jack it. And the other one's like, oh, me too. <laughs> and it just gets out of hand. Just it's like, hey. I've never it. done this before, and then <laughs> the other person's like, "Yes, you have. I know. I'm you." <laughs> Don't lie to me. Uh, I've never thought about doing this before. I have. <laughs> it's like oh, bullshit. Shit. That time on the channel that you were freaked out because you're talking about it. Well, it's real now. I don't know. Now I've got all this picture of Ark is like breaking your sister just nicely. It's like, got something to tell you about about, about Shade. Okay, I'll, I'll get some coffee up. And then <laughs> yeah. She comes back and it's like, why put your shirt off? Why is there two of you? What? What? Ark? Why? Why are you getting undressed, Ark? Oh, this is how we do things, right? <laughs> Bracelets. Also, why is there two of you? Because hell, if we're getting on this clone train, so am I. <laughs> It'd be even funnier still if Jade like came back from school or whatever and there is two arcs and then she goes to a room but it's locked <laughs> and it's because you've got I'm in the other room it's just like what it's like we can't live in the same room but you're the same person get out and then <laughs> the other you walks out of the kitchen drinking milk out of the cart and it's like yeah get out yeah fuck off i pay two rents now Rip. which is the entirety of the rent um that is the also, entirety of the room. Also, would I, would, would I then have two of me at the same job? Because no. one of me is hectic enough. I feel like the other me would have to go get another job. No, no, no. Somewhere no. else. You I think one... you'd have to decide that between years, but until then you could tag team hours and have double the days so That's, Oh my god, that would totally be the idea. It's like, right, sweet, I'm going in tonight. I really CBF. You need to go shave, do this. Or maybe we don't, so then one of me just starts coming in with like this like longish hair because I was because they like CBF shaving, and then the other me will just come in, shave my head, and everyone's like, what the hell? But imagine it like this, like how nice and like actually genuinely caring you could be to yourself. Like you come in, the other you's got like a bit of like I don't know, like mustard or some shit from eating something. You could like lick your lick your thumb and wipe it off and be like, there you go, buddy. <laughs> like, you can't do that with your bros, but because it's you, you're like, there you go, Wait. that makes you look better. Here, let me fix your hair. You, you can't do that with just... Uh, well, you, well, you can, but then your bros want to touch dicks, or they're afraid you do. Instead of being indifferent into whether or not that happens. And then, yeah. if, you do, and then if you do it with someone of the opposing gender, they just automatically assume you're trying to crack onto them. Um, I guess. Is this... Slay it. Why can't I use the thing? 
No, even when it comes to blood. Is that a mud puppy? Uh, yeah, spotted mud puppy. Why aren't you using the thing? Oh, it is. Okay, good. Yeah, that's a bit better. Man, I hate these stupid things where you got to use an item on them. Yeah, they get annoying. Especially doing it on controller. Oh, it's actually easier on controller, dude. I just it's like you have to shift through the like that back button a few times, then hover over to your thing. It's just like no, just let me kill it. I have no Grim time to did. Waste <laughs> But I couldn't. There you go, Grim. I couldn't do it. It was. It had taken yeah. like half my health, and then I was like, oh yeah, I, I need to use the item. I'd only taken a quarter of its health, and it had taken half of mine. Ah, did it help? Huh? Did the item help? Yeah, I smashed it in three hits. <laughs> ah. Oh. Ooh, someone's riding a nine-tailed fox. Ooh. I can't believe it. We've now made two episodes that are about having sex with your clone. <laughs> God damn it. Uh... Is it gay if you're having sex with your clone? Like, no. comment, subscribe! <laughs> to find <laughs> out. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Well, it, it really depends. The only way it would be gay is if you don't count it as masturbation. But it would be masturbation because it's you. Yeah, but the, the thing is, like, if we decide that it's incest, then it's clearly. But gay. then what if, like, one of <laughs> <laughs> the other one, oh, like, what if one of you is like asleep or watching TV, and the other one goes down and just starts playing whiskey junkie, you're like, oi, what are you fucking doing? Do you remember that gay incest episode? <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. So, like, well, it's time to test this theory out. Like, Which but... one? <laughs> yeah, part one, part two, part 28, tell me! Damn it. I don't know. I don't know if I'd like straight up bang my clone, but then I don't know if I wouldn't. <laughs> So I feel like, like there'd be some ambi little, like, ambiguity between it. I'd definitely partner up my life, like, do half the work and eat half the food. So yeah, I feel like, it's, it's a, like uh, you probably start off as like jerk-off buds, and then you might like, do like, a revolve into like, a Dutch rudder. And, and I, I don't think you just like... <laughs> jerk-off <go> buds? <laughs> oh, I don't, I don't think I had one of them before. What's what's that, Ark? <laughs> but, but is it, is it definitely... <laughs> like, is it... Is it... Would you call it a stranger anymore? Because you know them. Um, well, well, they wouldn't be a stranger at all because they're you. It's the opposite of a stranger. It's like, it's not even an acquaintance or a, a family friend or a family. Or family it's or you. You're just literally. touching yourself. It's just in a different body. Like, you might even be able to say, like, soulmate. <laughs> Excuse me. Or just the same soul. <laughs> And just be like, hello, uh, friend. Like, you really gotta, like, rationalize it in your head. If you're split across two bodies, essentially, because that's kind of what we're talking about here, and you all have the same memories and everything like that, wouldn't it also kind of be like... Like, from a philosophical standpoint, you wouldn't be, like... Like, masturbating... Well, you would be masturbating, because it's you, you know you, you're not banging someone else, you're banging yourself. It's you touching you. You trust you because it's a you. <laughs> you know what you want. Like, what the hell? But... But what if you have repressed entity. urges, and then one of you wanted to act on them, and then the other one didn't? What if... But <laughs> this, is, this is a garbage episode. <laughs> what if... What if one of you was cloned, but was the opposite gender for those people who are a little bit repressed and can't handle the idea of touching their own dick. <laughs> um, but like, what if it was the other one and like, it was just like day one, tubes tied. <laughs> well, I don't know, it depends on how, I guess, how pretty female would be, me would be and also how much self-loathing that female me would have. Hmm. It'd have to be equal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, of course, god damn it. That's okay. That that would mean that I could hate myself, I was and myself could would hate me back. Stable, and it would be not as fucked up. But no, no, that is not the case at all. But then you could hate yourself, and then you could hate yourself back. <laughs> uh, and it'd be less be lonely. <laughs> it'd be like, I hate you. And the other person could be like, I hate you too. 
and then box. <laughs> Imagine having an argument with yourself. Like, I don't even um, know if that's possible. Maybe, maybe like over who ate the last fucking slice of pizza. <laughs> yeah, but you couldn't have. Well, you wouldn't be able to have any form of philosophical argument because essentially you'd just agree with yourself. True. It, and the other person, it would be like having an awakening. If if one of you had an epiphany, it'd probably be an epiphany for both of you. Yeah, like oh my god, and then you'd say it, and then it'd be like oh my god. It isn't gay! It's masturbation! <laughs> I get it now! God, this is the trashiest episode ever. And we've only just Second passed halfway. Second trashiest episode. <laughs> well, the first time I'm up to... Quite the episode. Now they would have expected it by now. And it's like, oh, well, all bets are off the table. I am up to... Factual folklore. Alright, let's have a looky. Look see here. Oh, there it is. Yes. Five quests. Nice. I think the next ones are a lot of go talk to this guy. Good. Because I have been doing quests non-stop while talking about all manner of regrettable things. If, you know, giving yourself a handy under the bench counts as a masturbation or a... Well, it's just sorry, you doing client. it to yourself. <laughs> Is it though? Well, well you have yeah. the same name. We've established the, the parameters. Same, the same... The same name, memories, body, aged up, same mental faculties. But then you, but you're two different sentient beings after that cloning process. Yeah, afterwards, yes. But it's but still you, got and you know it's you. But you've also memories built up, like... And you, now that you've already had this conversation... Before the before the process, and you're already on the same page, and then it, I, you getting angry at yourself for touching your dick is like you looking at your hand, being like, "Don't, <laughs> don't, <laughs> you don't you me. masturbate me!" Oh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that's not. Me. I may have I've had that conversation. What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> oh no, this is gonna leave. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's. Don't do this to me, I don't have time before work! Oh, come on, I'm gonna be sweaty! <laughs> it's like, I know I need the serotonin, but fuck! I'm just crying in a corner while doing it. <laughs> Grim's, Grim's sitting there slapping his hand away. <laughs> One hand, like, rests in his lap, he slaps it away with the other. Ah! Uh -huh. <laughs> not, not till tonight. Okay, so I'm agreeing with the fact it'll be masturbation if... Your what? clone literally awakens, and you both have the same experience from that point on. So, say if you're in the same room the entire time, and you both just start doing it. What yeah, if? Well, you'd have to like, get, but get once, like a, like a once pair of you handcuffs. Start having different experiences, and they have they become less of an identical clone. It's no longer masturbation as canon. What that if it's a hive mind, and you both remember the same things, even if it's stuff that the other body does? And then you start referring to yourselves as we. And us. Ugh, then it's just gonna be masturbation in total. Like, I guess. Okay. What if you start Can we all agree that it's at least a little gay? <laughs> but, because it's a little gay, like, even if you had any apprehensions about sexuality, because it's you, you're a little bit more open to it. Well, no, as long as you're playing the same experiences, rule. Because they'd be with you all the time, then no, I still think it would be masturbation and it wouldn't be gay. Man, I would learn to hate I... myself in a whole oh, new fucking way. Oh god, yes. He'd be like, I hate me so fucking much. Why has no one told me about this before? If I was in a relationship with myself, I'd be so pissed at how much I don't put out. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what the hell, dude? I'm like sitting there stuffing my face with like chips and shit. It's like, fuck off, I'm busy. It's like, but. No, <sighs> no you'd be like, what the hell, dude? Why aren't you sharing? Especially because the other you, like the other you, you'd be like, mate, you know how much effort it has actually taken me to get up and like try and like poke and prod you. Because you know, because especially you, because you'd be so lazy to put out, you'd be like, come on, come on. Do you know how much effort it actually took me to get up? Nah, oh, fuck you. And then you just go sit down for another like two months. It's a horrible thought to how, like, how much you could get away with stuff with yourself because you know it's you. Like, <laughs> think about it, like. That's the well. Don't think about it because this is a bad train of thought. <laughs> but at the same time, think about it because, like, you, you, you technically could rape yourself. <laughs> oh, <laughs> That's not oh. okay. But but would it be rape? Because if you're doing it to yourself, wouldn't that mean that 
that there's some consented? CNC subconscious subconscious urge just in the back of your brain. Well, if you said no, yeah, you can rape yourself. <laughs> and also, that means scenario. that when you're slapping your hand away, Grim, you're stopping yourself from getting raped. Stop it! The hand, hand is like, come on, come on, just Look at me the hero. 53 no's and a yes is still a yes. So fucking rapey. <laughs> so fucking rapey. I feel like 18 year old Ark has has pulled a similar thing back in the day. You can say no for a year, but once you say yes. Oh man, I think the worst thing is the idea of dating a younger me. Oh fuck. I mean like, yeah, I'd probably be better looking, but at the same time, I'd be a fucking idiot. It's like, hey, let's go and do stupid stuff. It's like, hey, no. <laughs> no I'm pretty good don't... staying here, doing fuck all. I'm good. I don't need to go outside and do things that cost me money, that make me have to involve myself with people that may have the fucking coronavirus. No, I'm just kidding. But <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm pretty much like not going to be going anywhere for a little while because of that shit. Hey. Hey, why do we have a shop message for the um, guild anymore? Uh, free free company. Um, we do. So there's no short message on the has been posted. No short message for you. We can each post a short message. Every member can. Oh. That's like for you to be like, I've got shit for sale to the other guild members and stuff like that. It's a message that you're putting up that when people click on the, the thing, they can see. So if you look on the members, you'll see that I've got a short message. Click on short Maybe messages. Maybe since we're all online should... at the same time, we should just have like a really long short message between the three of us and then just, go, and then just ask. Is it gay? If you have a clone, and then you try and <laughs> That's one way to make everyone leave. <laughs> I'm sure like half of our viewers have checked out after that, they're just like, these guys are really onto this conversation and I'm not really feeling it. Yeah, but maybe okay. maybe you'd be feeling it more if you were sitting next to yourself in your own warm embrace. <laughs> that, that was at least a good, what, ten episodes ago, if not more? Think about the most loving and warm hug you've ever given to anybody in your whole life, and then think about how much more of a warm, loving hug you would give yourself if you could. <laughs> you banging yourself would be the most passionate sex you ever had in your life. <laughs> oh god. And then it would also be the most animalistic shit you've ever done as well, because like you would just both roll over, sweaty and gross, and be like, Pizza in bed? Uh-huh. <laughs> Holding fucking chicken legs for each other while you're fucking doing whatever. And like, oh, at this point in the conversation, no. you know, your clone can be a girl or a guy, whatever you're into. It doesn't matter, but it's you. And that's the important thing. Let's just take the gay part off the, off the table for people that are, like, worried about that sort of shit. Let's just say it's a clone and it's whatever your sexual preference is, but it's you. And it's yeah. like a total copy. You've got a convenient machine. They've got a dick or a vagina. A cloning machine that just puts the genitals of choice where they need to be. Yeah, and that cloning machine is Shenron. Remember, you click a finger, they're there. It's oh, like, hey, yeah. what's up? Take all the mechanics out of it. It's just Wish Dragon creates clone. There's no oh, but it came out of your mother as well, so it's your sibling. Like, just take that argument straight off the fucking table. Like, all of the shit gone. Ooh, what are these rings? But this is what makes the conversation interesting, though. <laughs> and gives gives the, the answers stakes, consequences, and shame, and judgment. I'm sorry, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> There's definitely shame. <laughs> so much shame. Oh, God. However, minimal judgment. Yeah, actually no judgment. Go fuck yourself, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, go fuck yourself. You sound like you're in the toilet, bro. He's already fucking himself, everybody. Look uh, at him go! Uh, I'm, 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 <laughs> I've already got a head start, bitch ass! <laughs> I'm gonna win this race! <laughs> Sorry, I Grim. My legs. I was just in back, stretching out of it. <laughs> Waiting for this dungeon to come along. Well, I'm up to influencing Inquisitors, if that means anything to you. They will you do in a second. They do not. And I'm nearly finished it as well, by the way. And by nearly finished it, I mean I've just started it, but it's obviously a short quest. Ooh, three quests away. Well, now I can officially say that I'm halfway through it. Three quests away? Yeah. Ooh. I don't know if we'll get the dungeon in this episode, but we'll get 
up to it, I think. No, it's just, you, you'll, you have to do that duty first. There's a duty there. Oh, okay. Shit. But as soon as you Shit. finish that duty, we have the dungeon. Oh man, I got a duty to do. Drop yeah, trowel and do your duty. Trowel. I used yeah. I used to know a dude that used to say that about like hooking up with girls. I'm going to fucking <laughs> going to get some trowel. It's like, oh, <laughs> what? <laughs> You're going to what? That's that's gross, dude. Don't talk, don't say I that. I feel like that should be like a female term. I'm going to go get some trowel. Oh, gross, I feel, man. I feel like it's in the same category as I'm gonna I'm get dick down. I'm gonna go snatch some trowel. I definitely believe in my heart of hearts that of all of the cultures and all of like the the accents and all of that sort of stuff in the world, that Australia definitely has the shittest slang, the shittest and the best, but definitely the shittest. Because <laughs> I have heard crazy. people say just gross shit that makes me throw up in my mouth a little bit and they say it like they're talking to their mother like casual as fuck oh yeah everyone used to like lose their mind when like i especially when i was, I was actually here's a good example is my 18th the grim was actually here at this point as well well he was there i should say was i, I have, yeah you were you okay. and the missus okay. this, is, this was part one before everyone left and then i went and i went i went hardcore part two so it was part okay. one, we're all sitting around, and something came up, and then I just sort of turned around, mum said something, I went up to her, and it was like, fuck off. And then she went, looked at me, and she went, suck my cock. <laughs> and everyone just, sort of just looked at her. And then obviously, as if this moment could not be topped off, I sort of looked back and went, no, you can suck mine first. <laughs> <laughs> and like, the, just the uh... sheer look of mortification on most people's faces, it was like, wait, what? They should get over it, because that's awesome. Because there was some family there too, and they were like, Whoa, my God! Speaking of assessments... Be here, um... <laughs> what, did this, what did that train of thought fucking clue you onto? No, I just meant because you said... Oh, I thought you, you had like a brain um, fart. You're like, speaking of assessments, clones, here's this point. <laughs> Maybe what have I done? Not... What have I done? Maybe you're actually a clone and your mum just got you from a Shenron baby and then turned you into a boy but said, I want him as a baby so I can grow him to be my sadistic little fucking son. Oh my god. Oh my Are you trying god. to say that Ark is his... Ark's mum? He's the clone he of his mum? Whoa! That's not okay, dude. That's not okay at all. <laughs> <laughs> I have the realisation and then you do too. Oh, I'm gonna shit. gonna go oh. shed my clothes, go live in a fucking cave and throw my shit at people. My life is a lie. <laughs> Clone life nailed. Um. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I am in a bad way. Do you need some help? Is what you're playing with. <laughs> <laughs> You'd have a whole freaking company just of your clients. Whoa. I would. Well, the thing about it, every one of I, all three of us had a client nearly raid just by ourselves. Man, but then I didn't buy so many damn computers. But there's so many of you, I mean, I mean, only, you could all just get a full-time job and then between the two of you just go, right, we can handle the hours. Between the four of you, a full-time job's only 10 hours a week, that's like... One day one each. Shift, one day each. Yeah, but think about the upkeep of each person, you've got to find a medium in there somewhere. I reckon you could work three days a week and all be fairly well off. Because you could just buy the most expensive internet plan and share it between a lot of you. It'd be fine. And that would be like one bill. I, I guess the power bill would be like double, but because there's ten of you, you know, like... I don't know. Ten? <laughs> Jesus, I was just talking like a one-to-one. -one. You're what? going into like mass production. Well, yeah, man. You got two hands, that's two dicks. I mean, so how's the, or <laughs> how's the orgy game gonna work? Like... <laughs> Just take it straight back into the gutter. <laughs> well, Look at Yui, we're you. going back. <laughs> yeah, have you managed? How, how is that going to wash your face? Fucking look, look at the mirror. Good, get in the gutter. We're going back to back. Let's see who wins the race. <laughs> <laughs> so bad. You know, I have a female friend and a male friend, and they're just friends. But they Good on you. they used to do that. <laughs> <laughs> they used to race because they were bored. <laughs> Just sex maniacs, man. I know a fair few strange types. 
I know people that'll be watching this video being like, I'm not going to watch the rest of this one. <laughs> oh man. They're just going to be shaking, they've probably been shaking their head for 49 minutes now. <laughs> That's right, guys. Let's watch the next unless, one. Unless they're shaking in arousal, then I'd be down for that. Like, mm. They would not be. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They'd be like, touching yourself is gay. <laughs> well, is it? No, no, we've already discussed And then, it. even if it was, like, is that a bad thing? I don't know if it is. Like, I don't give a shit. I really, I, that's, that's my part in life. I just don't give a shit. It's like, all these people that are like, like, if they're homophobic, if they're religious, like, I don't give a fuck, like, religion is your thing, like, your sexuality is your thing, just, like, leave people alone, like, let them do whatever, unless they're out there, like, raping people, or murdering people, or molesting people, like, why the fuck do people give a fuck what other people are doing in their lives, as long as they're not imposing it on somebody else, and no, existing isn't imposing it on someone else, <laughs> like, leave people alone, people are just cunts, that's what pisses me off, just leave people the fuck alone, it's... You should understand this better than anyone, Ark. I just want to be left the fuck alone. Yeah. I don't want oh, people God. to fuck with me. If people are like, you need to do this, I'm like, no, fuck off. <laughs> I'm not going to do that because I don't fucking feel like it. And if they're going to be like, oh, it's fucked up how these people are living their lives far away from me where I can't see them or know anything, just the idea of them pisses me off. I'm like, you toxic piece of shit, get the fuck over it. It's got nothing to do with you. You're just looking for something to bitch about, and I don't want to deal with it. Fuck off. <laughs> I want to go watch, like, Dragon Ball Z or some shit. Like, you know, like, I've got stuff that I could be doing that pleases me. Hearing you be an ignorant cunt isn't one of those things. <laughs> like, okay, fine. If your religion is like, oh, being gay is a sin, that's fine. Don't be gay then, and fuck off. <laughs> don't give a fuck about your shit religion. Sorry. <laughs> I'm not religious. Your religion's about you. So keep it that way. Or we're no, going to have a problem. Your religion, not our religion. Exactly. It's all mental illness to me. No, I'm not. I know some people need something to believe in, and that's fine. I just don't, so it doesn't apply to me whatsoever. And that's the end of that. What did, what did you write, Grim? Fan? Fan! Fan! Maybe someone's fan. Oh. But I didn't want to interrupt your rant. Yeah. Man. Probably was mine. <laughs> man, people are just the worst. I could rant they about how shit people are work. for fucking decades, man. I just Every like... Every day I just look at them and it's just like, why? Now that I have to deal with them for five days a week, it's just like, why? I just want people to just stop being shit. Just, why can't people support each other? It's like... Okay, I have a lot of poly friends, okay? I have people from all fucking races and genders in my friends group, and like, but specifically amongst the polyamorous group, like, everybody's all like super fucking like accepting and nice and shit, bring you drinks and try and cuddle you when you're going to sleep and shit, and like, I can't deal with that because I want to be left the fuck alone, but it's nice to be offered. <laughs> Right, yeah. but it's like some of them will come up to me like in real life and be like, "Oh, hi, Shade." And it's like, "No, no, <laughs> you don't call me that in real life. That's a character in a game I'm developing. I just go by that on real life, on online because like, gotta have a press name, bruh." It's like, "Oh, okay, I'll call you anything you like." And it's like, "Oh, really?" <laughs> like, but just like so R accepting. Or oh, daddy, I was I was aiming for daddy, but but <laughs> but the point is like just full acceptance. It softens them up for later, so that I can full just walk support. In. Who are you? I'm Ark. Oh. Why can't people just be nice and supportive of each other? It's like, you know, somebody wants to, like I have friends that are asexual, for example, and at that point, you don't stop hanging out with them because you can't have sex with them because then you're not a very good friend in the fucking first place. I feel like a lot of people have this weird disconnect where they're like, I've got lots of female friends, but they're not actually female friends. They're girls you want to fuck one day. Because most of my friends are girls, right? And I don't want to have sex with them because I've seen them do horrible things. <laughs> but the point is, like, you know, like, 
why does it always have to be about that? Like, I feel like if the there, there is no friend zone, man. Like, if you're gonna bang someone, it's just gonna happen. You don't need to make it happen. You know what I mean? Like, have you ever had that sort of thing where it's like you haven't really made an effort to hook up with somebody? It's just kind of happened, and you're like, well, I guess that was pretty natural. I feel like that's yeah. the way it's supposed to be. People just make it into this weird thing. I don't get me wrong, there's obviously a lot of my friends like, I get like I get a bit curious of and like, hmm, I wouldn't mind seeing what would happen if all the all the clothes on your body were suddenly set on fire. But, and, but that's, that's <laughs> yeah, but that's just being open-minded. And it's like, alright, go back, go back to where you were, put some clothes on. Yeah, but you can still do that and still care about someone, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. you know the kind of guys that are just cruising for pussy? <laughs> like, oh, those kinds? Like... Yeah, Groom and I know exactly the family. <laughs> that's, that's what I mean, man, like, it's fucking cringe. The worst of the the worst offenders are the ones that you see blatantly on Facebook, not even in someone's DMs. Like a girl will post a po photo, and they'll be like, "Oh fuck you!" Yeah. <laughs> it's just like just saying this in front of a grandma, dude. Like, <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing, dude? Don't don't put that shit on Facebook. Your mom can see the way you talk to girls. That's fucked. <laughs> Stop it. I was thinking the same person. Going over no, yeah, 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 we are. Oh, used to okay. would be, but I yeah. guess I'm, I guess I'm just describing him to a T. Like, wait a minute. It's like, wait, 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 a, wait. Did you say the heretic among us, by the way, Grim? Yes. Oh, I'm going to hand that in now. You'll be sent to a duty. Okay. Is it a short duty? It can long. be a short duty. If you're not shit. I like to think I'm. It, it took Not me a while because shit. it took me a while because my DPS on a white mage is terrible. Rip! I burnt through it pretty quickly. Yeah. Because I just went ham. Oh shit! That's right. I'm banned unless I leave. Flail. Bitch. Bye. <laughs> but this is good. That means in the next episode we can go and do the thing. Oh, The ironic thing is, like, we started off the episode talking about how much we should or could or shouldn't bang a clone of ourselves. Full sexual conversation, right? And then by the end it's just like, hey, you can be friends with a girl and not want to bang him. <laughs> it just, it totally comes down to just, like, being a reasonable human being. And I think and that most Because you'll have your clone to bang instead. Well, yeah. yeah. And hey, if you're lucky and you're super straight and not super gay, and... The, Shenron's being like kind. <laughs> Maybe that person is a woman, it's just you in that woman's body. And it's then it's like then it's the question of like what would you do if you were in a girl's body? If not like like sexually in another female's body. I mean like if you got your gender flipped by Shenron one day, like girl or boy, you know you're gonna go and masturbate just to see what it feels like, right? I would be scared not tell anyone because I like being a white male. And I'm on the top, and I don't want to get get off this cliff. So I wouldn't tell anyone that if my gender got to it one day, it'd just be like, "Don't know what you're talking about. Leave me alone. I'll keep you on the deck." I feel like a lot of people could um, do with that wake up call a little bit. Hey, it's yeah. just it's just like jump on the train as a girl instead of a dude, and be like, "Hey, wait a second. Why are these people treating me like shit?" Or like maybe they're like Shenron's just being a cunt that day and makes them like one of the more oppressed sort of like or you know like sort of like um just a minority po group. poorly looked upon minority or some shit and then they suddenly have to see what other people deal with and then they're like fuck humble pie man <laughs> i didn't expect to be fed that today but you know what maybe it'll open some of their eyes and then the rest well maybe they are involved in a train crash and no one cries <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, I took that from 1 to 11. <laughs> I really, like, like I was talking about Pete before, how he doesn't have a filter. This is why I didn't think I had a filter. Because <laughs> so, I'll say, like, things like that without thinking. And, like, yeah, I might agree with myself. But at the same time, it doesn't mean I don't think it's not harsh. But also... I think I think there's a lot more room in the world for less trash people. 
and I don't really have a lot of empathy for people that are trash people. Sorry if you're a trash person. You can go into a recycling center and learn some lessons and become less trash. Recycle yourself. Into that's Soylent good. Green. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. Man, but this yeah. duty sucks ass. All these fucking dragons and shit. What the hell? They're not dragons, they're drakes. Well, and one's a wyvern, and one's a Guantolomo Guantol De Del Toro. <laughs> Guantanamo Bay Del Toro. That's how Guantanamo you say his name, Guantanamo right? Bay, yep. Hey, do you know that Kojima is working on a horror game, right? And he's Did working you? on it with Guantanamo Bay Del Toro, right? Oh, hey, he's starting up that bad boy again, is he? Well, no, they're, they're working on a horror game. Um, Kojima said that he was going to be doing that right after Death Stranding came out, so he's working on that now, right? But also, um, apparently some of the, like, the, the harshness between Konami and Kojima is, like, starting to waver. And then very recently, Konami said that they're making two new Silent Hill games. So, yeah, it's basically like some kind of soft reboot or yeah, some shit. Yeah, but what if one of them is Silent Hills? <laughs> what if they're letting that be made after years of having their ass torn out? Well, it would definitely help with their reputation post Kojima. I want to fucking play it. They should have... Why the fuck would they cancel that? Whoever is the asshole that kicked Kojima out in Konami, he should be fired. Why would you get rid of your resident genius? Like, I've seen all these arguments online, right, where people are like, oh, it's because he had, he spent all this money in these big budgets and stuff, and it's like, and then you look at the sales numbers, and it's just definitely a profit. <laughs> like, yeah, it's like, oh, but this money's been well and truly justified. Yeah, the reason, it's, it's like having, like, a famous director, like, Steven Spielberg's out there spending more money on developing a movie, like, Peter Jackson or some shit, spending millions and millions on this movie. And the reason they're doing that is because they know they're going to make it back and then some at the box office. That's the whole point. Make a good thing, sell it lots, make money. It's like tick, tick, tick. And then Konami are like, uh, no, we don't like Kojima. Why? Oh, because just one of the people in our fucking, like, our higher ups department has just decided, fuck him. And it's like, to your genius that makes you money. Yes. He said something that I didn't like. I, he probably said something that was probably like a little bit arrogant, you know, like, uh, you know, like, I don't, was just I'm, I'm, that... I'm like, I'm a one man group and shit, or K K uh, Kojima Productions is more talented than Konami as a whole, or some shit, some sort of arrogant shit like that, and then some dickhead who's like, oh, we don't want to make games, we want to make pajinko machines, you have no place here, and it's like, fire that cunt immediately, because <laughs> the last two things that came out from... Silent Hills were pachinko machines. They also had a clothing line. Ooh. You know, all the things that no one gives a fuck about outside of Japan. And even if they're making a shitload of money in Japan, how much more money do you think they'd be making if they made, like, a game, localized it, and then sold it online everywhere? Lots. And hell, these days they just put pachinko machines in the game digitally anyway. Fucking microtransaction the fuck out of people. I don't know. At the end of the day, I just want Silent Hills, the original one. Because it was gonna be fucking sick. You know the hallway uh, for PT? No, I've never touched PT. Oh, really? Well, the whole game was in the same hallway, right? But very recently, um, modders and hackers um, managed to show what it's like if you get rid of like, if you open the front door and allow the character to walk outside it. And they've just built, like, a whole bunch of the town as well. Like, alleyways, multiple-story buildings and shit, streets and streets away. You can just walk and walk and walk. And it's fucking full creepy because it's, it's just empty and dark and evil and haunting. But it's like, you don't even get to look through the rest of the house in the, in the PT demo. Like, you can't even go upstairs. You can go into the bathroom and... That's it. You can walk around the corner, go into the bathroom, and then go back into the, the garage, which is where you open the door in the beginning. It's like a loop. Yeah. And so people are like, yeah, but there's doors here, but what happens if we remove the doors? And then it's like, oh, there's like 
a hundred times more game here that nobody's ever seen. And it's fucking creepy. And ever since watching that, like... Oh, I fucking want to play it so bad, man. It's, it, it's just like... Chills up the spine sort of shit. I don't know if you've ever played a... Um, Silent Hill game before, but... Uh, I think PS1 was the only time I played one. They were pretty no. fucked up. Well, it's not like zombies or demons. It's like fucking weird apparitions and shit. And it's just like twisted meat, <laughs> smoldering skin, spiky pointy bits sticking out of flesh. And then those things that are all tortured and fucked up like that coming to get you. Like the nurses. Fuck, man. Imagine giving them a go, Ark. <laughs> 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 That'd definitely be some CNC on their part. And then uh, imagine that one of those nurses is you. <laughs> as a clone. <laughs> Bring it full circle. <laughs> just start Give us a Twitch, lovely. Fuck you, And then it's just my face on the end of it. It's just like, oh dear god. Yeah, I'm looking good today. <laughs> recently, I'll have to give it that. God, why am I the worst? Alright, after this person talks, we can wrap up the up. Awesome. His name is Drillmont. Drillmont! Drillmont. So out of curiosity, s rank creatures in this, are they meant to be hard? Um... Well, I'm assuming that they're supposed to pose some kind of challenge. Because you've said that, I want to lie to you and say no. Um, because there, <laughs> there was a whole bunch of guys walking along, there was this big thing and they posted it in the novice group. So like, okay cool, I'll walk there. And literally went down within like two and a half seconds I'm like oh. yeah but that's that's because like they're at S rank for like level 50s and 60s and stuff dude and a whole bunch of level 80s and 70s are there and you're essentially riding their coattails to glory for example Odin remember that yeah. boss fight where we just got hammered uh, at 0.5% yeah. yeah so remember yeah, that remember that that was an yeah. S rank yeah is it Odin S rank yes is it he's a world boss they're all world bosses, but they're also marks. Mm. I feel like Odin, whilst being an S rank at the same time, is like in a league of his own because he's like a world boss and yeah. he's also a. What are they called again? Essentially a primal, but doesn't have a dungeon and doesn't have story linked to him. You can just go and fight him if you want. Oh, there is a quest line to him after ARR. Ooh. Well, he's just not, this, this... Ones, not one of the ones that we need to do to continue progress, though. Well. How about we wrap this up? Alright, so a bit of a sleeper app. However, we got to discuss some very vital and gripping topics. <laughs> Part 2. Food for thought no doubt, and well, food for no sex. A multiple saga entry shenanigan. Let's just call it that. <laughs> that sounds cool. That sounds hip. And so next episode, we'll hopefully get around to Stone Vigil, and then our Stone Vigil will be our next primal, and then we'll be on the arse end of ARR. Thank God. So, if you like what you've seen or heard, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. If you're on Kujata, join our guild, dude, go back. And until the next Final Fantasy XIV ep, I'm Mark Sam, with me is... Ah, sh <laughs> Shade and Grimly fucked that one up. Go on, dude, go back. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Peace. It's definitely masturbation if you give yourself a reach around, though, hey? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yes.